your first guitar was? I don't know the name, because it was a no-name copy of a Vox teardrop that my dad bought me when I was five. So that was like 80 years ago. Okay. And uh, it had one F hole and two single coily type pickups. Did you love it? Dude, it was my first electric, I loved it. And I was five, I could barely hold it, but my dad was like, hey, man, you want an electric guitar, you get an electric guitar. The, the support started at home, it was amazing. Your first legitimate electric guitar. And you played in a band where you made some money. Okay, when I was 11, which was less than 80 years ago, me and my dad went split on a pre-CBS 70s Strat. And it was uh, an off-white, like the cream color, with a black pickguard. That's cool. I know! It was like 350 bucks. I washed dishes at his restaurant for a long time to get the 175. <laughs> now, when Lisa shoots the guitar of your choice for this exquisite book, part two, which guitar is she going to photograph? It's going to be, actually, I don't mean it to sound like like the, the ego book, but it's uh, Framus built my dream guitar. Okay. Like, I've played so many vintage guitars, and I've played so many guitars throughout my entire life that um, we sat down, and the specifics came out from, came from history. So I love a, 59, a 58 Gibson Les Paul burst neck. Right. But I, I, I wish it was a little wider at the nut. And I love SGs because I love the access on the higher frets. And I love P90s. So what did they do? They made me a fatter SG with the fat neck that I like with my own P90. And that guitar does everything I want. Everything. I can, it's, it, it cleans up nice so I get a nice spanky clean sound. I put it on seven, it kind of sounds like a telly. And when it's on 10, it's, it's angry as shit. When did it change where rock and roll guitar players started to craft their own guitars to their specs, where it just wasn't picking up a Fender or a Les Paul, where you, you wanted dream sound, a certain idea? I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of people did it way before 1977, but I think Eddie was like, yeah. I wish I had a fatter sounding Strat so I could use the tremolo. tremolo. Right. So he fucking chiseled out that cavity so he could put a humbucker in a Strat. And he still used Les Pauls, and there's pictures of him using Ivan as destroyers and that. But I think I think that was the first time somebody said, "I didn't, I can't buy what I want, so I'm going to make it." And I think it started it started a whole thing. It started the whole one pickup guitar. Right. You know, I mean, obviously there were juniors like Les Paul Juniors, S Paul, uh, SG Juniors. So you know that that whole concept had been around for a long time. But for a rock guy to come up with a one pickup guitar, that really changed uh, the face of rock guitar. Yeah. Aside from the playing, holy shit. Right? Yes. Yeah.